The Upper Snake River is that portion upstream of Jackson Lake. It is much different from the lower portion. I wanted to experience the true wilderness nature of this great river, so I decided to go backpacking. The trailhead starts near the Yellowstone Park border. You need to cross the river right away, which in late August is about 18 inches deep where you cross. For those of you not inclined to do a backpacking trip, there's easy access to the Upper Snake River along the John D. Rockefeller Memorial Parkway, as well as along the Yellowstone National Park southern border. Those areas also get more fishing pressure. The trail goes for many miles and has several options. Along the way, you'll see great scenery, hot springs, and an abundance of wildlife. Speaking of wildlife, as I approached my designated backcountry campsite, I walked out of a patch of bushes into a clearing, and there, just 30 feet away from me, was not one, but two big grizzly bears. I yelled at them as loud as I could. Fortunately, they got startled and ran away. This one was filmed as it ran up a hill. With two hungry grizzlies in the neighborhood, I made sure to properly store my food. The bears didn't come back, but I did have one unexpected visitor that night. A porcupine in a pine tree. Unlike the 600 pound grizzlies, it showed no fear of me. The next day I got to doing what I came for catching cutthroats. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, he's not that giant, but he's still nice. Oh, it was a nice fish. It was a real nice fish. He's fighting hard. Got him! That is a nice cutthroat. Nice cutthroat. He's about 13 and a half inches. He's pretty big. There he is. It's a nice one. Come on, fishy. Ooh, it's a nice cutthroat. It's a nice cutthroat. Nice fish, 15 inches on the cyclops spoon. The weather can quickly turn for the worse out here, but it can just as soon quickly turn for the better, as can the fishing. Holy cow, it's a big one! It's a real big one! Look at that feller! He is big. Oh, he's really big. He's a really, really, really big one. Come back here, for nice cutthroat. Come back here. Come back. Come back 
your fish. Oh, he is nice. That is a nice, nice, nice fish. It's hard to get him though, I keep going downstream. Come back here, this way. I'm gonna get this guy in, he keeps going downstream. I can't fight, oh! Here he is, I got him now. I got him. Oh! oh almost slipped. This water is really slippery. Oh, that's a big fish, holy cow. Oh! He's around just short of 15 inches. He's a nice one. If I sound like I'm excited to be catching these fish, it's because I am. I'm used to catching small fish, usually around 10 inches. These Snake River cutthroats were real whoppers to me. Got one. Ooh, it's a nice one. Ooh, look at that fish jump. Ooh, got him. This is a brown trout. A brown trout in the Snake River. Wow, look at that. A pool below a riffles is always good. Here, I found the biggest pool in the area below the largest rapids in the area. I knew a big fish had to be here. This is, this is a big one. Ooh, it's a big one. It's a real big one. It's a huge one. Come on, fishy. It's big. It's real big. It's a monster. It's a monster fish. It's the, 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 the giant of the depth of the deep. Oh, look at him run. Look at him run. He's really big. He's really, really, really big. He's going downstream. He's, he's massive. I'm getting tired. I hope he's getting tired too. He's, he's pulling out drag. It's a really big one. Oh, he's not giving up. He's still fighting. This is no little one, I tell you that much. This is a big feather. Whoa! Holy cow! He's huge! It's a giant cutthroat! Oh my! One big cutthroat trout, about 18 inches. He's really big. Make sure he gets rehabilitated and recuperated. That was a long fight. The Upper Snake River is a great and wild place. I hope it stays that way for many more years.